Are you a foreign passport holder and you will be flying to the Philippines anytime soon, whether you are a foreign national or a former Filipino who now has only your foreign citizenship? Then this English video is simply just for you. Let us answer the question for the one half pass online registration form. When do you need to register online? Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of our One Half Pass Frequently Asked Question. My name is Jamie Iris, your talk TV show host. I bring you travel updates, current events happening in and out of the Philippines, and other updates that will definitely help you when you travel back to the Philippines or back to where you are actually residing. I would love to... I simply want to say welcome to all our first-time viewers and at the same time, our subscribers. Welcome back. And to all our first-time viewers, I want to invite you, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll get updated whenever we have our new videos simply just for you. For today's episode, let's do a little bit of recap before we answer our main question for today. Now, who are required to complete the one half pass online registration form the answer to this is everyone who will be traveling to the philippines meaning whether you will be entering through an airport or a seaport whether you're a filipino or non-filipino passport holders then you have to complete the one half pass and this means for ohs from adults from 18 years old above to our senior citizens and also from 18 years old below. For the minors, of course, parents and guardians, you have to assist them how to complete this online registration form. We do have another video or guidelines to help you out with that. But for this video, let's focus on in answering this question. When do I need to register for the one half pass? Again, I'll be sharing to you what will be applicable for foreign passport holders as well as which is exclusive only for the Filipinos. Now, when we answer this question, we have to take into consideration your vaccination status as a traveler. Now, number one and number two, this will be applicable for you as a foreign passport holder. While number three, it will only be for the Philippine passport holder. Holders. Now, to answer the question, when do travelers with booster need to register online? From our subscriber, Bakajelo To, he said, Hi, ma'am, good day. I am from Japan. My flight is on October 8, 2022. I do have a booster. I want to ask, number one, when can I complete or fill up the one half pass? And number two, what are the requirements that I need in completing this form? Thank you in advance. I will wait for your response. Hi, Bakajalo. How are you? So let us answer your two questions. Now, the first question, when do you need to complete this? If your flight is on October 8, 2022, please remember this. Since you already have a booster for your online registration to everyone else who are watching this video, you can register within 72 hours before your flight departure from the point of origin. The keyword that we have here is within 72 hours. It doesn't mean that you have to register exactly at 72 hours it means that within this time span you could actually register let me give you an exact example if a traveler is flying from the los angeles airport from september 28 12 45 pm then therefore when can he register if the traveler has a booster already then starting september 25 a.m to September 28 a.m., that's the window where you could actually register since you already have a booster shot. 
Now that we have answered the first question, when do you need to register if you have a booster that's within 72 hours before your flight departure from your point of origin? Let's answer the second question. What are the requirements that you need to prepare when you register online for the One Health Pass? Please prepare the following number one for your reference only your travel documents this includes your passport and flight details and then number two your vaccination certificate or card so it can be for your primary vaccine or your booster shot some you might have only one certificate or one vaccination card that's fine just upload it as needed so it means that if they ask you for the primary booster upload that card or vaccination card that you have if they ask you for a booster or when you are asked to upload the one for the booster certificate or card, upload the same card that you have. And those are the answers to your question, Jello, and to everyone else who will be traveling with a booster dose to the Philippines. Please take note, when do you need to register online for the One Health Pass? Now, for the second traveler category, number two, if you are a fully vaccinated traveler without a booster dose. From Pem Y, one of our subscribers, she said, Hello, Miss Jamie. For Filipinos who are fully vaccinated but without a booster, when do we need to register? Is it 72 hours or 48 hours? Hi, Pam. How are you? Now, to answer your question, let us take this into consideration since you already have your primary uh, vaccination but you are without a booster you may register online upon receiving your covid 19 testing yes you heard me right now this will vary because we have two options when it comes to the type of covid 19 testing that you can avail so if you opted for option number one rt pcr test remember you can actually complete this within 48 hours before your flight while an antigen you can complete this within 24 hours before your flight now let us have a concrete example so if you will be flying to again the philippines through los angeles international airport and you will be departing on september 28 12 45 pm if you will be opting for the rt pcr test remember this can be taken within 48 hours before your flight so it means that upon receiving your covid 19 testing result after or within this time period, you can start actually uh, registering for the one half pass. There will be some can receive it uh, like same day upon your COVID-19 testing. If the result can be expedited or released fast, some you have to wait more than 24 hours, but within 48 hours if you have the RT-PCR test. Now, if you will be flying now if you have opted to take the COVID-19 testing option number two that's the antigen so remember this can only be taken within 24 hours before the flight so if that is the case if the flight is on september 28 from the los angeles international airport leaving at 12 45 p.m then starting uh, september 27 to september 28 a.m you can actually complete already your online registration form provided you already receive your covid 19 testing so those are the time periods that you can actually register upon receiving your covid 19 testing for any traveler foreign national or filipinos or former filipinos without a booster dose now additional reminder if you are a traveler without a booster dose please prepare your documents or the following documents for your reference before registering online number one your passport details and then second will be the flight details and now for the documents that you need to upload on the one half pass we have the vaccination certificate and at the same time your covid 19 testing result and those are what you have to take into consideration when it comes to 
when do you need to register for the one half pass if you are a fully vaccinated traveler but without a booster and again vaccination status number one and number two are for filipinos and foreign passport holders now let's take a look at the traveler status number three now this will apply only for the filipinos and any dual citizen who have a philippine passport now if you are not vaccinated or partially vaccinated you can simply register online within 72 hours before your flight yes you heard me right now miss jamie how come will i not be waiting for the result of my COVID-19 testing for the updated One Health Pass registration form. So they now have opted for you to simply complete it within 72 hours before your flight. The result for the COVID-19 testing will no longer be required to be uploaded, but you still have to do your pre-departure COVID-19 testing. Instead of having it uploaded online, they will ask you to show it to them through manual validation, uh, personally or face-to-face -face upon your arrival in any of the Philippine international airport that is why you do not need to wait until the result of your COVID-19 testing because there will be no option from the one half pass online registration form for you to upload your COVID-19 testing result after answering when do you need to complete the one half pass registration form let me just give a reminder to all Filipinos and foreign passport holders. Now, uh, again, if you are fully vaccinated, whether you have a booster or you're without any booster at all, please remember that you will be receiving the one half pass QR code. And then this one half pass QR code entitles you for an express lane. And remember, this QR code is already valid for boarding. Now, after completing the one half pass online registration form, let me just give you a recap of what proof of registration will you be receiving. Now, there's a difference between the fully vaccinated as well as the unvaccinated or partially vaccinated traveler. Now, for the fully vaccinated, so this means this applies for foreign national and Filipino passport holders. So if you are fully vaccinated, it means that you will receive a one half pass QR code. Now, this one half pass QR code is valid for boarding. And once you arrive in the Philippines, you will be entitled to go through the express lane. This simply means that they have validated already your registration or your documents prior arrival in the Philippines. Now, who will receive the one half pass barcode now if you are unvaccinated or partially vaccinated what you will be receiving upon completion of the one half pass registration form is not a qr code instead a one half pass bar code yes you heard me right so what does this mean you can still definitely uh, fly to the philippines and this is considered as valid for boarding but then again since you were not asked to upload any of the documents online like your COVID-19 testing so it means upon arrival in the philippines you simply have to queue up or line up at the manual validation counter so with that, everyone, looking forward that the information that we had given through this video are helpful. If you find this video helpful and informative, please click like. And I am inviting you to subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell. And once again, you are watching Jamie Iris Talk TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. To all who will be flying back to the Philippines, have a pleasant flight and if you're already in the country, enjoy your vacation. With that, may God bless you all. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you in my next video.